All right, in this example, we're going to find a position vector for a vector that starts at the point 3, 7 and ends at negative 4, 2. In part B, we're actually going to find the length of the vector as well. So to find this position ve vector, um, so again, we start at 3, 7. You don't have to draw the picture at all, um, but I'm going to. Um, it starts at 3, 7 and goes to the point... Uh, negative 4, comma 2. So this is what our, our vector would look like if we were to draw it. To find this position vector, all we have to do is, okay, so I'm going to list the coordinates again. This is negative 4, comma 2. This was 3, comma 7. What we do is we take um, our, so I'm going to look at the x-coordinates. We, we take the stopping point, which was negative 4, and we subtract away whatever the starting point was, which was the x-coordinate of 3. And then we do the same thing uh, for the y-coordinates. So we started at the, uh, we stopped at the y-coordinate of 2, and we started at the y-coordinate of 7. And that's now going to be our position vector. So negative 4 minus 3, that's negative 7. 2 minus 7, that's going to be negative 5. And again, all this to me really says, it says if you're sitting at some point, it says, what have you done? You've gone seven units to the left, and then you've gone five units downwards. That's all that's happened. So that's our position vector. Part B, we wanted to know the length. Well, to get the length, all we do is we just take the square root, we take each component, and we square it. We take negative seven squared, we take negative five squared, and then we add those together. So let's see, this is going to be the square root of uh, 49 plus 25. So I guess uh, 49 plus 25, that's going to give us the square root of 74. Um, we could factor that, I guess, as 2 times 37, but 37 isn't going to factor any further. So I would simply uh, stop here and say the length of our vector is the square root of 74.